Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this absolutely stunning petal granny square. Now not only does this square have a fantastic beautiful texture, each one of these sections is done in one round. So it grows very, very quickly. This yellow is all completed in one go. Same with the orange, the red. So it becomes a big old square with minimal effort. Now, not only does the front look fantastic, the back is equally beautiful. Just look at that, amazing. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we crochet this amazing granny square. And I'm also going to show you an optional way to square it off and join, should you wish to. Now it's quite a big old tutorial today. So grab your yarn, grab four stitch markers, trust me, they will come in handy, and let's begin. Before we begin the petal granny, it is just worth noting that this is a slightly more advanced square and you do need to understand how a standard granny square is formed with the sides and the corners. That will help you out massively when it comes to making this petal granny. Having some stitch markers to mark the corners might also be very handy. To begin, we're going to start with a magic ring. Now there are a lot of stitches going into this initial magic ring, so feel free to make it slightly bigger than you usually would. So once you have your magic ring, we're going to go ahead and chain three. And into the magic ring, work three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Now chain three and turn your work. We're going to work a double crochet into each of these three double crochet stitches and one into the top of your initial chain three. So we'll have four double crochet stitches. So work one into that very first one. That's one, two, three, and your fourth double crochet goes into the top of this chain three here. Now chain four, and we're gonna turn our work back around again. So that chain four is at the back of this first petal. Now this is very much a trust the process square. This first round can be a bit tricky purely because there's nothing much to hang on to, but bear with it and trust the process. So that is your first petal made. Your chain four will be at the back of the work and we're going to make our second petal. So for the second petal, back into this magic ring, work four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four. Now chain three and turn. I'm literally just flipping it like the page of a book. Now work a double crochet into each of those four stitches that you just made. That's one, two, three, and four. That's your second petal made. So now chain four. and turn it again. So we're just flipping it back so this chain four is behind the petals as you make them. If you look from the back, it's what pulls them round. Scooch that second petal around a bit. 
and we're going to make another one exactly the same way. Four double crochet into this magic ring. chain three and turn it just flip it back around so you can see how these chain fours are forming these sort of petals now at the back to complete your petal work a double crochet into each of those four stitches you just made Then chain four, flip it back around so that chain four is at the back of these petals. Scooch them round, give yourself a bit more room. Now we have three petals made. We need eight in total for this round. So go ahead and make five more of these petals with the chain fours in between. And meet me back here in just a moment to finish round one. So I'm just finishing up my eighth petal here and you'll notice it is a bit of a higgledy piggledy mess back here and like I said you really do need to trust the process with this especially with all the flipping and once you have completed your eighth petal make sure you chain four turn it back double check you have eight petals they will be overlapping that's fine that's what we want so we've got one two three four five six seven eight and to finish this first round we're going to slip stitch to that initial chain three that you did just up here where you did your double crochet into the top of that very first petal slip stitch to the top of the chain three not to this chain four space at the back but to the chain three on that first level of the first petal we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch in there. Now you can go ahead and tighten up that magic ring. You might want to pull up your loop a little bit just so you don't lose it. But go ahead and pull this magic ring at the back closed. If it won't close all the way, don't worry, if, especially if you're using a thicker yarn like I am. However, if you are using finer double knit weight yarn, that little hole will pretty much close to nothing. So if you turn it back around, you should have eight petals and eight of these chain four spaces with each petal. So you definitely have eight. We're going to change colour for round two because I feel that definitely looks most effective. However, if you wanted to continue in a solid colour, you need to get into this chain four space 
to begin the second round. So the way you would do that is you would chain one and then single crochet into this chain four space here. So I've chained one and this very next chain four space, pop a single crochet in there. Then you would be ready for round two if you were using the same color. However, I'm not, I will be changing color. So let me just remove that single crochet. I'm going to leave that chain one there, cut my yarn, leaving a tail that I can weave in afterwards, pull that up, through, out, and pull it tight. But as I say, if you wanted to continue with the same color, you would chain one and then single crochet into the next chain four space. Now grab your stitch markers. This will be quite helpful because there is quite a lot of turning and there's a lot of chain loops and a lot of things going on at the back here. So grab a stitch marker, pick any of these chain four loops and mark it. This will be a corner. Then working your way around, skip one of the chain four spaces, pop a stitch marker in the next. Do this all the way around, skip a chain four space, stitch marker into the next. Skip a chain four space, stitch marker into the next. This way you have a visual representation of where, actually if I flip it over to the back, where your corners are going to be. Now, if you are an organized, tidy person, it might be worth a weaving in your ends now. You'll have one from the magic ring, which needs weaving in, and one from this chain four join that you did at the very end. It just helps you visualize a bit clearer. As this square does get bigger, there is more space at the back to see what you're doing. But just for now, it might be worth weaving in these initial ends. I'm just running my tail under some of these stitches and then I'm gonna snip it. You obviously take more time and care than I am for the sake of this tutorial. So you have your four corners at the back marked. You've woven in those two ends. Things should be a lot clearer now. And if you flip it round to the front, you'll have your eight petals. So grab your second color of yarn and we can begin round two. For round two, we're going to pick any one of these chain four spaces that you marked with a stitch marker. We're going to join our new color into that spot. So you can remove your stitch marker. And we're going to join to this chain four space. You can join your yarn however you prefer to join your yarn. I'm going to go with just a slip knot on my hook and pull that loop through to the front. So if it's easier for you to fold these petals forward as you work into the chain four spaces at the back. You can go ahead and do that. I often find it's a bit easier to see what I'm doing. And we're going to be working into this chain four space. So to start, chain three, and then work three double crochet stitches into this chain four space. chain three and turn your work just flip the whole thing over now work a double crochet into each of those three double crochet that you just made and work a double crochet into the top of that chain three. Now 
Now chain four, just as before. And turn your work back around so that chain four is at the back of this petal. Now scooch that petal around a little bit and we are going to be forming a corner here. So we need one more petal worked into this chain four space. Now we're going back to doing the main petals. So that is starting with four double crochet to that chain four space. So we're going to go ahead with our four. One. Two. Three. Four, chain three, and turn. Then work a double crochet into each of those four double crochet stitches you just made. chain four and turn keeping that chain four at the back so you have just worked a corner so it might be worth taking a moment to mark this chain four space in between those two petals so then for the next round you know this is your corner now we're going to form just like you would a granny square. So we've got a corner here. Your next corner space is a step away. And we've got this middle one, which will form a side. Now your side will just be one petal. So we're going to work your one petal into the next chain four space. And just as you did before, we're going to go with four double crochets into that chain four space. chain three and turn. This round's a bit easier and all subsequent rounds are easier because you have more to hold on to. So turn it around and work a double crochet into each of those four double crochets that you just made. chain four and turn it back around again so you've got two for your corner and one petal on the sides now your next chain space we had it marked that's a corner so into the corner you need to work two petals so your petals are formed with four double crochet chain three, turn and work a double crochet into each of those four stitches you just made. Then chain four and turn your work back around. Now because this is a corner, we need one more petal. Then mark that little corner section if you need to by popping your stitch marker back in. So 
So we're forming just like a granny square. You've got your corners, side, corner. You're going to work this all the way around, working into the chain four spaces behind the petals. Side, corner, side, corner, side. Pay close attention on this second round. Once you have this one down, then the next ones become easier to spot. So keep going, forming your petals. One petal on the side, two petals in your corner spaces. Meet me back here in just a moment when you've finished up your final side. So I'm just finishing up my final petal of this round. I'm on the very last side section. And to end this round, when I have finished the stitches for my petal, chain four, turn your work back around. And just like we did for round one, we're going to join with a slip stitch to your initial chain three. So it's halfway up that first petal there. So you can just count your chains, one, two, three, and slip stitch in there. Then chain one, cut your yarn, put it up, pull it through and pull it tight. And you will have this scrumpled looking mess where you think you've gone horrifically wrong. Just flatten it out for a moment, find those corners, flatten it out, all your petals, now, because of the nature of how this is worked with these sort of big old petals here, you'll find it does sort of lean. But if you pull out these stitch markers, you will clearly see where your corner sections are. They will just sort of look like they're on a bit of a wonk, but don't worry too much about that. So you'll have your corners and your sides. This is where having a knowledge of how to do granny squares themselves will be infinitely, infinitely valuable to you when tackling this petal granny. All right, so we're going to do one more round. So go ahead with your new colour and join it to any one of these chain four corner spaces from the round below. So for round three and all subsequent petal rounds that you do. Join your yarn, turn it over, the right side facing you, join your yarn to a corner chain space. However you want to join your yarn. We make that beginning petal, which is chain three, and three double crochets into the chain four space. Chain three and turn. And work a double crochet into each of those three double crochets you made and to the top of your chain three. Then chain four and turn. Now we're starting in a corner space, so you need to form another corner in your corner space. So work another petal. Now this is the main petal pattern where you start with four double crochets to that chain four space. Chain three and turn. And work a double crochet into each of those four double crochets that you just made. Chain four 
chain four and turn. Now, if it's helpful to you, you can go ahead and mark that chain space so you know this is your corner. And just as with a traditional granny square, you will have two sides now instead of the one. Each round will grow by an extra side. And on these side spaces, you work one petal. So that's one side and now one petal into the next side space. Then you are back to a corner again. So the corners are two petals and the sides are one. So keep going, corner, two petals, side, which is just one, another side, which is just one, and then you'll be back to another corner again. Keep going, I will meet you back over here to finish the round and then for round four, I'll show you how to square these off, making them a bit easier for attaching together. So I'm just finishing up my last petal on the last side section of the last bit of round three. And just like in the last two rounds to finish off, you do your chain four, turn it back and join with a slip stitch to your initial chain three on that first petal of the round. Then chain one, snip your yarn, pull it up through, out and tight. And then again, you're going to have an interesting looking chaotic mess here. Just take a moment to flatten it and just smooth it out. Get your petals lined in the right way so they're not folded. This one here keeps folding back the other way. <laughs> Keep crushing it. It's a very, very tactile, it feels beautiful. And the back, as you work it up, starts to look really beautiful as well. So you can continue this petal granny for as many rounds as you like. I personally found that five rounds was about perfect before it started to just spiral a bit too much. Because you're working in a circle going round and everything's leaning, it would have a tendency to twist if you took it much bigger than this. However, because you are making such large petals, each round is actually pretty big. So this five round square here made with double knit yarn and a four millimeter hook, it's actually pretty big. See, it's an eight inch square just for the petals. And this three round one that I've done with you with a five and a half millimeter hook and chunkier yarn, it's already seven inches. So these are big boy squares. <laughs> now what I found is when you have more than one of these to join, I wanted distance between these petals. I didn't want them touching and overlapping each other. Now this extra round I'm about to show you is entirely optional. I just preferred it when joining my squares like this. As you can see, it gives a clear distinction between each granny square, each petal square that you've made. So if you did want 
this extra little bit of a gap. I'm going to show you how to do that now. But as I say, you're free to take these more, as many rounds as you like, really. Just be aware that after five, you might find it gets a bit too twisted. All right, so the squaring off round. Again, you have your corners marked on the back. This is so helpful, particularly as your square gets even bigger. You'll be very glad that you're taking the time to bother marking <laughs> rather than trying to find where you have two petals together. And we're going to go ahead and just as before, join your new colour to any one of these chain four corner spaces. And just as before, join however whatever suits you now because you start in a corner we are going to form a corner so chain three which counts as your first double crochet now for this squaring off very very optional round we're going to have groups of four double crochet. Now that chain three counts, so I'm going to go ahead and make three more double crochets into this chain four space. It's one, two, three. So I have my chain three and three double crochets, forming four. Then chain two, and just as you would a granny square, no more turning, work back into this corner space because we're forming a corner and work four double crochet stitches. So your corners will be formed with four double crochet and a chain two space, then four double crochet. Now is the point at which you want to decide how you're going to join your squares together. Now I am a fan of join as you go. So because of that, because I use the join as you go method, I will be chaining one on my side sections. Now, if you prefer to crochet your squares together or your tension or yarn means it'll be a bit too baggy with that chain one, then feel free to leave it out. If you were going to crochet these together afterwards or sew them together, I wouldn't do the chain one on the sides. But as I say, I'm a fan of join as you go, so I will be chaining one. But feel free to tailor this to however you are joining. So I'm going to chain one and then on the sides, just working into these chain four spaces, four double crochet. I'm going to chain one because I'll be doing a join as you go. I have linked to the join as you go video in case you wanted a quick refresher on that, but essentially all the join as you go with this chain one method is, is when you do your next one, your next square and you're joining it, you substitute out this chain one for a slip stitch to join to your next square. But depending how big you have taken your petal granny, keep going along your sides with just four double crochet in each. And then when you get to your corners, four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet, all into that same corner space. So you can see this just gives a nice solid base and true square shape to your petal granny but as I say totally optional you don't have to do this round I just found it made the squares sit next to each other a bit more nicely and made more of a, a show of this texture 
than if they were just all butted up to each other. So carry on with four double crochet on the sides and four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet in the corners. Once you reach the end of the round, you're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three, chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, pull it tight. Your floral, petal, granny, scale granny, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is complete. And when you join to your next square, this slight curved edge that you have will disappear so by joining the next square to it it pulls it in line like so so don't worry too much if you've got a bit of a curve going on that all gets sorted out once these bad boys are joined so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you found this video useful please do give me a big thumbs up and until next time happy crocheting bye